Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark with Limo Marketer here and in today's video, I want to talk about saving you money. And by saving you money, you're gonna be able to reallocate more of that money into ad spend, which is gonna get you more work, which is going to help grow your business. So this is an important video to watch and it's gonna be a short one. Um, so a few weeks ago, I made a video that said, increase your budgets. Okay, but now I'm saying lower your bids, what? Wait, increase your budget, lower your bids. Okay, here's the difference, okay? Your budget is how much you're telling Google, hey, I'll spend this much a day, and what Google does is they multiply that by 30.4, and they say, okay, so if you have a $20 a day budget, um, or let's do a $100 a day budget, um, over a 30 day period, they will not let you spend more than 30, or $3,040, I believe, yeah. $3,040 um, because it's your daily budget times 30.4. Um, now your bids, that is actually um, what you are bidding on your keywords, right? What you're setting your, uh, your max CPC to be, your max cost per click. And the reason I say to lower your bids is just because I've seen so many accounts that are you know run by people that just don't know Google Ads that well and they're just way overbidding. Um, and another thing, in the accounts I'm currently running, I have found um, there's some massive indicators right now um, that are telling me uh, I'm bidding too high. And those indicators are this. Now, if your account isn't really set up that well, these might not be as big of indicators for you. Um, but what I typically look at is number one, click-through rate. So that is the number of people that click on your ad divided by the number of times your ad shows on a search result page, right? Um, so number of clicks divided by the number of times your ad are shown, also known as impressions. So what I've noticed is pre-COVID, um, a black car, uh, let's say a client who's in San Francisco who does mainly airport black car type services. Oh man, you can't even see that. That's impressions down there. Um, they would have a click through rate I found of five to seven percent. Okay, black car service focusing on airports, sedan and SUV. Um, they service you know SFO, San Jose Airport. Um, a a click through rate um, over the whole account. You know, a good click through rate would be five to seven percent. Uh, and I just know this from running these campaigns for so long, right? Party buses is typically higher, usually over, you know, 10 to 15 percent. Uh, but I know black car is typically around um, eight percent or less. But what I've noticed recently is when I look at most of my client accounts, all of their click-through rates were, um, is greater than 10%. Uh, I always get confused with this one. I think that's a greater than. Uh, so all of their click-through rates, or most of them, were greater than 10%. So this told me, I'm like, okay, um, that must mean their ads are likely showing quite a bit higher, which means I'm bidding too high. And so really overnight, for a ton of my clients, I've lowered their cost per lead. Some of them, um, of the companies I work with now, they're getting leads for like what a lot of people pay for, for clicks, five, four and five dollar leads. Many of you watching this might be paying that per click. And this is a, a huge thing you need to remember. A click is not a lead. A click is just when someone clicks on your ad, goes to your landing page, but it doesn't mean they convert, meaning they call you, they fill out a quote request form, they book online. What we want is conversions, not clicks. So it's important to remember that. Um, but for many of you, you're bidding too high. If you're in a market um, that isn't a top 10, top 15 market, and you're paying more than three or $4 a click, we need to talk, or if you don't want help, you need to just lower the bids yourself. And if you're working with an agency and your average cost per click is $5, um, and even if you're in like Boston or New York, you shouldn't be paying that much. And many of you watching this might be. So 
right now, I would say in most markets, um, I'm getting clicks for a dollar to three dollars. Um, even with charter buses, I've found uh, the cost per click is still relatively uh, low in many markets. And so that's what I look for. I look th for click through rates. And, and just so you guys know, and this is going to be the, uh, the piece where you really get some values, uh, some value, because this is some knowledge that I have that not many other people have in the world. Uh, so what should you expect for different types of services and click through rates? So black car is anywhere from four to eight percent, I would say. If you're getting more than that, that's awesome. Um, you can probably lower your bids. Uh, you know, limo, uh, any sort of type, stretch limo, limo service, limo rental, all those types of searches. Uh, that's typically a little higher. I've noticed that can be six to, you know, let's say 10%. Party bus, uh, oops, that's a B, okay. So we'll just do party bus. Uh, these are actually um, pretty high, uh, typically over 10%, 10 to 15%. And so if you're getting a 25% click-through rate, you can probably lower your bids. On limos, if you're getting 15%, lower your bids. Um, and then for charter bus, this is a wonky one. Um, I've really found it changes in most markets, but um, it's usually quite a bit lower. It's like three to 5% is typically what I see. Um, so if you're massively higher than these top numbers, that means, you, oh, sorry, you can't see the bottom there. Let me just lower that there. Okay, and I'll bend down here. So if you're higher than these top numbers here, you can likely lower your bids. Uh, just um, select all your keywords and then um, lower them by 15 to 20%. That's typically what I'll do. Depending, if I have um, you know, a, a black car service client and he's getting like an 18% click-through rate, sometimes I'll lower it by 30%. Um, and so now if you have conversion data, um, this gets a little more com complex and many of you aren't probably even tracking conversions, but if you do have conversion data, meaning you're tracking your form leads, your phone calls and that sort of thing, um, then you typically, if a keyword has a very high conversion rate or low cost per conversion, um, many times I'll just leave them because if they're just killing it, I don't like to screw things up. Um, but Usually I'll select all the keywords in the account and then I'll uncheck the ones that are just crushing it because I don't want to mess with a really good thing. And then I'll lower all the other ones by 20, 25, 30%. And then check it in a week and what you're going to find is your cost per click has gone down, your conversion rate will likely stay the same and your cost per lead will have gone down. Now you're going to get more leads for that same money. If you were limited by budget, um, you will get more leads. Um, if you weren't limited by budget, well, um, you'll probably get around the same number of leads. You'll just pay less for them. Now, one small caveat here. If you're in a small market and your cost per click is low as it is, $1.50, $2, um, you might not want to even do this. Um, and I learned this lesson the hard way. I had a gentleman I work with in Louisiana and his campaign was just crushing it, getting leads for four or five dollars, uh, or I'm sorry, for seven or eight dollars. And then I said, look, his click through rates are, are really high. I'm going to get him leads for five dollars. So I did that. And then he was like, hey, I've noticed a small decrease in, in lead volume. And, you know, I started thinking about, I'm like, even seven dollars uh, a lead is, is very low. Um, and, you know, he's renting party buses, stretch limos for, you know, five hundred a thousand bucks. Um, so me trying to save him a little bit of money and he wasn't limited by budget. That's a key. He was not limited by budget. And so, um, for him, um, I ended up reverting the changes and increasing his bids just so that he shows up number one, almost every single time. Um, and he's pretty much just dominating his market and that's the position you want to be in. But for those of you in large markets, this can save you some money. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel. I believe there should be something around here soon that you can just click on to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments what your click-through rates are looking like and if this helped you. Go ahead, make these changes and I would love it if you'd report back and let me know what sort of difference you see. Thanks for watching guys.